Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pi Revolution. So on this Pi QD4 tutorial we are going to cover plotting on GUIs. A lot of my viewers on Pi Revolution are engineers and statisticians and they really want me to do some tutorials on plotting and tables. So I'll cover tables in the next tutorial. So for plotting I'm going to be using matplotlib and if you don't know what matplotlib it's basically the Python plotting library. I have an entire extensive tutorial on that as well. Over here, I'll just go over super quick. So here are my libraries. So I'm importing a Qt GUI and from matplotlib.pyplot, I'm importing plt, that my plotting. And for supporting matplotlib on PyQt4, it actually has a backend. So backend is basically codes that helps you run certain codes in the background. It's kind of like front end and back end for websites. And PyQt4 actually has a special backend called backend Qt4 AGG. So from that, we are importing the figure canvas Qt AGG and navigation toolbar Q2 Qt AGG as figure canvas and navigation toolbar. And I'm going to show exactly what they are. So here's my really nice code. Um, before going through the code, I'm going to run the GUI so you can take a look. And ooh, there seems to be an issue here. PLT not defined. Oops, I forgot to import my libraries. So I import my libraries. And here's my plotting. And oh, the plotting seems to be not working. Uh, let me fix this super quick. Force quit. So uh, problem with backends is that it doesn't run too nicely on kernels so I'll just restart the kernel if you're running this on a re regular Python script this is gonna be a lot easier and here you go you have your Qt GUI plotting and I have this thing called a canvas this gray area a canvas is basically the area on your GUI where you can draw plots and I have two buttons, so plot one, this gives me a quadratic plot, and plot two gives me a square root plot. So these two buttons are attached to functions that actually plot onto this canvas. And on top over here is my navigation bar. So navigation bar allows me to go through multiple subplots. It can help, so if this one allows me to move my plot around, the home button, readjust it, and I forgot the, what the other ones do. And the save button is just for me to save my image as a PNG file somewhere on my computer. So moving on. Oh, and you can also see the coordinates, like the pan and zoom. And oh, I just remembered this is to zoom in on my plots. So as you can see, this is a really useful tool, the navigation toolbar. Now that you saw the plotting GUI, I'll go over the code. So first off is very straightforward. If you paid attention to my layout tutorial, I used a grid layout over here. And on my grid, I just put in the coordinates of the canvas, the toolbar, and the two buttons. And over here, I centered the window using a code I found online. And here's the code at the bottom. You can look into it more What if you download this uh, Python script, which is on the link at on the description section. So I have the two buttons and each of them has a plot one, plot two. And this area is the interesting bit. I have self.figure for the uh, matplotlib figure and the size. I put my empty figure inside the canvas. So since the figure is empty, you see the canvas is a gray box. You don't see anything at all. Then you have your navigation toolbar, so self.toolbar, and you put in the canvas on the location 10, your toolbar on 00, and I want the size to be one row by two columns. So let's look at each of the plot. They're exactly the same thing, only they plot different plots. First off, we use plt.cla, which um, clears out our plot from the canvas. Um, axes to make the axis han handle onto our figure. Then x is our domain, y is our x square, while for plot two, y is our square root of x. 
So axis dot plot x y, we make it a blue plot, and for plot two is a red plot. Our title, and then we draw our figure onto the canvas. So canvas dot draw, and that's basically it. We can look at the plot again. So here you go, plot one, our quadratic plot. This is the canvas, and this is the figure on our canvas with all the title and the plot and everything. Plot two, it clears our first plot and makes our second plot. So that's it for the tutorial. Um, I will come back on our next tutorial with making tables. Oh, and please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.